Today folks, this is Sijish here. <coughs> this video we will uh, take a look into the rack awareness part and uh, which comes under HDPCA syllabus. And uh, we will discuss uh, uh, what is the rack and uh, what is the rack awareness and uh, how to uh, do it by using Ambari. So before going, we will see what is rack. So in a real uh, data center, so the servers are mounted in uh, uh, something like uh, some framework so it's called as rack okay so rack we can mount the servers in this uh, rack uh, say for example this is just a, so different different servers so a lot of servers so depending on the size of the server and the size of the rack so rack always have some standard sizing and specifications and uh, it has its own power supply and network unit and etc so we have some uh, servers here and uh, similarly in data center we have multiple uh, racks available so if you want to uh, just uh, look how the rack looks like just uh, use a rack and uh, see that image okay so just uh, use the server rack right so this is how the racks looks like and uh, and uh, we will uh, keep our servers like one by one so maybe the most of the i mean nowadays servers are with the blade server and uh, we will have we can amount these servers here so this is rack similarly we have multiple servers and uh, multiple racks also connected to that so here we are discussing about the rack awareness see so consider the hadoop cluster so that involve multi-rack uh, configuration so uh, we have some nodes here some nodes here and some nodes here so rack awareness is something like uh, so we are uh, giving uh, this information to hadoop like okay so this much servers are uh, installed here and this servers are here and these servers are here like so the hadoop uh, will uh, while uh, placing the blocks also the submitting the jobs so it consider uh, this location uh, say for example the placing the block it will uh, place the block here and same block I mean as a replication policy it will try to uh, place it in other racks so the benefit here is see if entire racks goes down so there is chance like uh, the power supply to the rack go, go, or network to the rack uh, may disconnected or there are chances like that so even if one rack goes down so we will have I mean again uh, the data or uh, available in other racks so that is rack awareness and configuring the rack awareness is also very simple so we can configure it using Ambari and first uh, we will uh, see uh, uh, how to check uh, this awareness just uh, go to the HDFS and uh, search with the uh, topology in config just topology so net dot topology dot script file so this is the file script available and that control uh, this uh, rack awareness so if i go to the, this directory slash etc hadoop conf so go to the one of the node and uh, just use slash etc hadoop conf directory and uh, i can see that the python file so just ls hyphen l yeah this is the file and uh, we can change that uh, and write uh, some uh, shell script also okay so the only thing uh, here this uh, script will do so it will uh, read one file so there is a dat data file you can see that extension so ls hyphen l and uh, grab see this is the uh, topology mapping file so this file is generated by ambari and it contain uh, the information about where the servers and uh, the rack so the rack topology script basically uh, what it do so if you, you just use the host name and it will give you the rack information or on which rack this is so now everything by default everything is in default rack that means rack topology is not set uh, say for example uh, in my case my master and the node one is in one rack and node two on another rack but again so here in case of vmware virtual server but that this doesn't make sense but consider if you are doing in a uh, actual uh, installation then uh, you can save that 
so setting the rack is very simple just select that host then selected host host set rack right I'm setting it as but we normally use uh, slash then uh, rack 01 so first rack any name you can use but it is just a name just a name and identifying like uh, so this is on one rack and uh, the name is something like just a logical representation and uh, selected host then set rack slash rack 02 right so I did that so so then the Hadoop will think okay so node 1 or node 2 are in the same rack and uh, master is on another rack right so once this is done so you need to restart the services so go to that and uh, restart all the affected services right just click here restart all required okay so I'm just uh, going to restart the uh, service okay so if I uh, go and check uh, this file okay so you can see uh, this is changed and uh, so node 2 and the node 3 are on uh, uh, rack 2 and the node 1 or a master is on rack 0 1 so I can execute only thing uh, here I need is if I execute this one and uh, with the host name so it should display or it should print uh, the rack name so you can write any other script and uh, update it here so in the configuration like a topology script so by default it's using a Python script so you can write uh, your own uh, shell script or uh, any any other script which execute and uh, give this uh, uh, result like this so if I if I do like uh, you can just try with the IP also because if you use IP IP then it should give so if again if you use the IP address of other host like uh, 142 it should print or uh, master so it should print a rack 01 so there are uh, two parameters one is with the IP address and another is a fully qualified uh, host name and uh, uh, so it should print that uh, corresponding uh, rack name and it uh, should have uh, execute permission and you can change it so the changing or setting this rack awareness way is very easy so go to the host and uh, select the host and uh, do assign a rack option and then you may need to restart uh, HDFS and MapReduce but that should show here if, if it save that changes so I just uh, restarted the service again uh, we will uh, revisit that script so HDFS uh, config and uh, search with the topology so you will get that uh, net.topology.script.file name and uh, this is the script already available it's very unlikely that uh, they will ask uh, you to write a script for this but again uh, so if they ask uh, in the certification uh, to set the rack so it's very easy go to the host and the select the host okay so what are the host belongs to single that particular rack then selected host host and uh, then set rack even in, in in case of the production deployment also so this is the one time rack uh, I mean one time uh, task so you just need to do at the beginning so, so these are the host available in this particular rack and these are the host available in that particular rack so again the naming is just a convention and to use some uh, uh, rack 1 or rack 2 or any, any name like that so there is no not necessary like uh, so the name should uh, be like a rack or something so you can use any name but so it's uh, more easy if, to you to identify uh, which servers are on which uh, rack or what are the servers available on one rack and what are the servers available on other racks so the uh, Hadoop will place the file system or file blocks based on this uh, configuration so I hope you are able to understand uh, the concepts behind the rack awareness and uh, if you have any questions so please use the comment box so I will try to answer that so also if you have not subscribed so please subscribe to this channel so that uh, you will get notification over time when i upload uh, more contents thank you bye